Thank you. Thank you. So if you have seen me a year ago in webcam, in this room, I'm pretty much a wallflower blending among you guys. So yeah, well, just imagine me sitting in the middle and you can't see me at all. So it's like, and I totally feel that like ice breakers, right? It's like, this is the... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Now, throughout my involvement in, well, it's like throughout my involvement in webcam, it's like, well, I wouldn't have phantom that I would take on a role that's way bigger than I myself. It's like totally different direction than I expected. I end up forming small little groups, small little tribes of people who share an ambition, wanting to live their greatest lives. So it's like, you can see over here, it's like, there's like five activities that I've organized thus far. And to be honest, it's like I agreed to organize all of this pretty much on a whim, on an impulse. It's like, oh yeah, you want to start a last night group? Okay, I can do that. <laughs> but it's like, I don't know, it's like it's, the whole experience is like it's beyond my wildest imagination of what really small groups can really bring. It's like maybe put a bunch of diverse people in a group, what will happen from it? It's like it's, the results are totally amazing. Uh, let me just go through the list of stuff that has happened like throughout the three months I've organized these groups. It's like that people start to get really motivated. They really hustle. They try to work harder to achieve their goals. They, have, they make bolder career decisions and to enrich their lives. It's like they dare to make voices heard within their cubicle car farm where it's almost like all grey and no, my manager doesn't let me do that. Screw you! Yeah. <laughs> And it's like, and at the same time, it's like uh, they dare to take on freelancing tasks they never dared to take on before. It's like, no, my job is very tough. After that, it's like you can see them toughening up, try to make more money in the process. They dare to take risks to leave a job they hate to a job they love. I mean, it really seriously takes a lot of courage. And honestly, it's like it's exactly because it's like the group itself they support each other, try to feed on each other's like. Um, energy and everything. So it's like, and the most interesting thing is that two startups which are currently in the making between the group members wouldn't have happened if we tried, we didn't band them together in, in such a setting. So it's like, think about it. I believe that we are now part of a bigger social movement. That the power of small groups and tribes band people together, helping each other out and enrich lives in process. I believe all of us have something to contribute in during these kind of collaborations. So my mission over here right now, giving this talk, is to try to get introverts out of their caves, get to know strangers, band them together, and make things happen. So with such a dream in mind, I present to you the introverts guy to be building a try. <laughs> Okay, one disclaimer, I'm not going to promise you that you're going to try. The next one. But trust me, it's going to change your life forever. Take my word for it. So, I myself is a firm, very firm believer in um, big ideals, start from small. I mean, just start small, don't try to build a level 18 guild while you are still at level 1. <laughs> you are not going to find any guild members who are going to join you at all. So, the best way I can think of is to form mastermind groups. So, if, if, well, okay, what is a mastermind group, you may ask. Okay, in essence, I'm just going to read from here, then after that I'm going free form. Okay, so in the mastermind group, you'll meet in a close group of peers on a regular basis, preferably weekly. And your mastermind group partners will give you feedback, help you brainstorm new possibilities and ideas, set up accountability structures to keep you focused and make sure you do what you need to do to achieve your goals and to realize your dreams. So, it's pretty much it's like if you distill it to six values over here, it's, like it's very focused on personal goals, it's very action oriented, it's better, it's close. And because you have the smaller group, you have a trusting relationship, so it's much more supportive and collaborative. And the best part is, smaller groups are much less intimidating. <laughs> so if you get what I mean. Anyway, so it's like to build a mastermind group, it's like there's essentially seven steps that you have to go through. None of which is rocket science, but there's like 
you, as you follow this through new step, it's like it's pretty much a very structured way in building the next web camp, hopefully. Step one, have online friends. <laughs> uh, duh. Duh. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I, 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 okay, I'm pretty much setting up like defense barriers right now, seeing that, okay, I may have become like just another Sheldon who's like doesn't make anything, doesn't start anything that makes sense. But um, the thing about why you need to make like online, is like you need to build up like online relationships and everything because you want people to want to meet you. <laughs> You need to sell yourself to say that, okay, I'm a rock star programmer, or I'm a really smart business people who can really take your idea, break it down, and tell you what's the concrete steps. You need to establish your own value. That's the point. You need to get people interested in you before you can actually say, oh, I want to organize a mastermind group. Who wants to join? If you don't establish that value up front, you're not going to get anybody. In fact, that's probably the first mistake I made when I organized my first meet up actually where I sit there, one peer person and crickets all around. So take that to heart. Step number one, most critical. Step number two, her cats. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about cats is that you can't control them. Dogs Hey, come here, here's a bone. Then, yeah, it's like the thing is that when you organize like these groups of people, is you're definitely trying to reach out a very diverse group of people. I mean, just you need to set an agenda, you need to set the firm date and time, a venue preferably somewhere accessible like public transport so that you lower the barrier that people will come, <coughs> and just make sure that you send emails constantly following up. This process actually takes time. I mean, it's like you just see Wuhan how he does his like announcements for webcam KL. It's like everything happened, it's like it was posted in announcements for a reason. You, you need to reach out to follow up, make sure you bribe or you threaten or whatever, make sure they confirm their attendance. So once you know you are, that they are attending, there's about five or six, then the next thing you can do is just show up there on time at the venue and trust that people will show up. Without that trust, I mean it's like, 10 minutes will be very unbearable, at least when you know the rule of Malaysian standard time. <laughs> they are going to be late. So trust that they will come, they will come. So once people start to stream in, then it's like all you need to do is break some eyes, build ties, try to know them in person, know what they do and everything. That's where the introduction goat comes in. You need to make sure that you know their names, what they are doing and stuff. So once you had that hook in place, now you can set up the line and ask for their goals. What they, do they want to achieve? What do they want to benefit from that group? You need to know what they specifically want in life. And once you know what they want in life, you can ask specific questions saying that, okay, what problem do you have? As that you need to feed them value, just try to give them advice. You don't have to do it alone. It's like, that's why you have a mastermind group. You have other, ex other people in the group who are able to contribute ideas, try to help them out in any way. So once you have the sinker, repeat step two, repeat the whole process again, try to email blast everybody, make sure that they are, what, whether, I mean, so long you have everybody engaged in a group, you'll be fine. The group will grow on its own. There's no magic, it's just you doing the work. So, <laughs> one thing, one, 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 it's like, that is the part, it's like when, when people ask, it's like, okay, seven steps, it's like anybody can do it, especially the extroverts, it's like they can do the job. But no, remember the fact that introverts are awesome, be proud of yourself because there are many skills that you can bring to a group dynamics that extroverts cannot bring to a group at all. <laughs> okay, so, you may bring up your bullshit, like radar right now, but I'm going to tell you why introverts are awesome. <laughs> Essentially, it boils down to this. As an introvert, you are good at researching participant profile, prepare topics in advance, knowing what they do. It's like just stop their Facebook profile, know what their history is. <laughs> Dur during the event, during the whole meetup process, you take notes, seeing okay, who's gelling well with the other who seems to have romantic interests, who seems to be making good co like business connections and everything. Observe the social dynamics. I mean, it's like, listen attentively, 
notice what they are actually saying instead of the words that comes out from their mouth. You can share your knowledge truth, this treasure truth. I mean, it's like, especially for programmers, it's like everybody is looking for a technical tool for nowadays. It's like I'm being asked that question every single <laughs> month. So it's like you have a wealth of knowledge you can bring to the table. And during this process, you can forge very deep connections because you relate to that person one on one. So that's the magic of having introverts about. And once your tribe is pretty much on the roll, you don't it's like it feeds on itself and you know that a tribe can only be awesome as a group. It's not about you, it's not one specific extrovert that's in your group or anything. It's about the whole group itself. And I would like to extend my thanks to the people who make it happen, the mastermind group Woo! and the multi club people. Yeah, start a track today. Don't wait. <laughs>